large-scale international cooperation is important or initiatives are important because you have to assess the forest at the scale where it is important and forests don't have frontiers. So, you know, forests are large scale, so we have to go large scale. Our understanding of the effect of climate change, unfortunately, is not very good. This is because climate change is a word, but actually it is a process. Basically, the forest is changing by the time we're speaking here as the climate is changing. And so our understanding is always sort of lacking behind. Forests rose to the top of the climate agenda through their mitigation potential, so how they store and sequester carbon. But what's been less recognized is these other mitigation benefits that forests provide that have nothing to do with carbon. And there's been some really interesting research that's showing how forests, by the way that they move water and by their biophysical characteristics and processes, can actually provide 20 to 40% bonus mitigation that has nothing to do with carbon simply by providing these cooling benefits. And of course those cooling benefits and rainfall regulation also have a huge impact on adaptation and resilience, especially for local communities, local producers on the ground. We know that forests are already under major stress from climate change, so it's absolutely essential to promote an integrated approach to management of climate-induced risks to forests. To improve the whole initiative and to get a better understanding, we need data. The most pressing is that we get together, that people collaborate at the international level, even at the global level, because climate change is a global phenomenon. So if we do want to get a grip of what's happening out there, we have to get together. And by doing this, then we learn about what's happening out there and then we can define strategies how to improve our understanding. It's absolutely fundamental to ensure that forests and trees are reflected in the next round of NDCs. Those are the nationally determined contributions to the Paris Agreement that include both mitigation and adaptation action, as well as in national adaptation planning and national biodiversity strategies and plans.